Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to talk to you about how to customize the icon bar in QuickBooks Desktop. What you're currently looking at is QuickBooks Desktop 2020 Premiere Edition. This should work whether you're in Pro or Premiere. At the top of my screen, you can see I have an icon bar. This is the after. I want to show you what your icon bar might look like right now and how you can adjust it. Right now, you might have an icon bar that looks a little bit like this, where you have stuff on the left hand side, and that's totally fantastic. You might prefer or you might like having the icons on the top. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to put the icons on the top and then I'm going to show you how to customize or edit the icon bar. To get the icons onto the top, I'm going to click view and then I'm going to change it from left icon bar to top icon bar. So now I have an icon bar on the top. These icons represent different actions that I can take and different reports I can generate within my QuickBooks file. I might say to myself, some of these are useful and some of them I don't need. So what I can do is I can right click anywhere in the icon bar and it brings up this menu which says customize icon bar. I'm going to go ahead and click on customize icon bar. Then I'm going to take a look and see what do I want to keep and what perhaps do I want to get rid of. So I might say, I don't need user licenses in my icon bar. If I want to look that up, I'll just look under help. So I see it here and I say, that's nice and click delete. I'm going to repeat that process and delete a handful of things. What I want to do is I want you to see how this icon bar starts to shrink and there's less content on the bar. So let's say, for example, we've deleted everything we don't want. Now, for example, we realize we want something, maybe it was there before, maybe it wasn't, but we'd like to add something to the icon bar. On the right hand side, there's a button that says add. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I can choose what I'd like to add. So let's say that I want a shortcut to backup my data. I can click backup data and then I can change the icon to whatever I'd like. I kind of like the example of the disk, so I'm going to use that. The label is backup. I might say backup with an exclamation mark. You know, make it real firm. Like I want to remember I'm doing this. And then click on the blue OK to the right. I can see backup is at the end. Maybe for me it makes more sense uh, or it resonates with me better to be on the far left hand side. So to get it over to the far left hand side, I'm going to click the little arrow to the left of the word backup. And I'm just going to drag it to where I want it to be. Now it's on the left. Let me keep dragging. Okay, now it's on the left in the far left. If I wanted to have a space between backup and AR, I can add a space by clicking on add separator. And now there's a little space. So I think you have the idea for how to do that. I wanna show you something else that maybe you wouldn't find in the menu, but you would find helpful. So now let's imagine that, that there's something you want to add to the icon bar that wasn't on the list. Perhaps it's a report you've previously made and customized and made it just perfect for you. Let me show you how to add that to your icon bar. On the top of your screen, you'll click on reports and then you'll come down to memorized reports. Over to the right, you'll find the report that you've saved that you'd like to have quick access to get to. So I'm just going to pick a report. Doesn't matter what report I'm picking, this is just for the purpose of this video. So now I have this report and I say, you know what? It would be really great. I'm getting into this report all the time. I'd love it if it was on my top icon bar. To make that happen, I'm gonna have you click on view on the top of your screen and then go about halfway down the list where it says add and then in parentheses, it'll have the name of your report. So in my case, adjusted trial balance. Add adjusted trial balance to icon bar. So when I click on add, it gives me a label and I can just shorten this adjusted trial balance. And then I can pick a different picture. Um, so we'll give it the scales, scales are fun, and click OK. There it is. So let me imagine that I've closed this out 
Now I've come in, it's the first thing in the morning, I'm ready to open up my reports. What I can do instead of navigating to reports and memorized and so forth, is I can just click on this icon and here's the report that I've saved and added to my icon bar. So hopefully this was interesting and hopefully it'll save you a little bit of time as you're working with QuickBooks Desktop. If you have any questions about QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can leave a note in the comments, you can send me an email, or you can schedule an appointment. Thank you so much.